All right, people, welcome back. More daily duels. So today is Wednesday. That means we are playing Earthbound Immortals. You guys have voted for it. It's Earthbound Immortals, people. So uh, I, if you guys haven't saw, I, play, I actually put up a deck profile on Monday with uh, with a rough draft of what I was, you know, trying to do. And uh, I'm not sure if I take that video down or not. I kind of want to just keep it up. The deck has completely changed since then. And, uh, you know, I got a ton of help of my viewers and supporters, even test players working on the deck, making sure that we do this correctly, we bust this shit out. And, uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully everything goes okay, you know? Uh, hopefully people don't think I'm playing Monarchs, I mean, I'm playing Monarch-esque cards, like, you know, Monarch Stormforth and, you know, March and all, the, and all that, I mean, yeah, and all that good stuff. But, uh, definitely, definitely, uh, if we can go ahead and pull out some Monarch, I mean, some Earth Monarch plays, some Earthbound plays, then that'd be great, you know, that'd be fantastic. I was just surprised that you didn't go any further than that. I actually expected you to, you know, take it farther, but, alright, so, uh, pretty much, I mean, I can go ahead and bust it out, but of course, this is Dark Magician, so I would not be surprised if he ends up, you know, fucking me with, like, Dark Magic Attack or something, busting out on Dark Magician and just raping me with Dark Magic Attack, because I'm pretty much asking for it, like, like, if that's Eternal Soul, I, I can already bust out the, 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 the Earthbound Immortal, but, you know, what good is that going to do me if I'm going to get just screwed over? Because I, I want to kill the Prisma, because I don't want it to become Dark Magician, but I also want to kill the Summoner Monk, because I don't want him to, you know, pitch a spell and do all that shenanigans. So, yeah. Uh, I'm running Terraforming instead of uh, Tenacity, because I don't have enough Monarchs to reveal for Tenacity. So... Well, usually I'll be like, Tenacity, here, look, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get this field spell. I can just play Terraform and get the field spell anyway. Which is, I guess, exactly the same and fine. Like I said, I'm just not sure what I should take out. Should I take out the Summon Monk? I guess I should take out the Prisma, because the Prisma is a bigger threat, because if it comes Dark Magician, then he can Dark Magic Attack and wipe my ass. And I don't want, I'm sorry, I don't want a man, another man to wipe my ass. I, I think I'm, I think I'm totally fine with that. But then, on the other hand, I would love to just go ahead and, you know, attack him directly. <laughs> You know, that would be great if I could just go ahead and fuck him up and just attack him directly, because that's what Earthbound Immortals do. You guys want it, Earthbound Immortals. Here it is, people. I mean, I, there, there you go. It's the Silipiscu right there. So, I can go ahead and... F I think I might just want to go ahead and fuck up the Prisma, just so he doesn't, you know, Prisma get Dark Magic Attack, but if he had Spell, Pitch, you know, Summon, all that, that. At least he can't go into Dagusto Emerald, because he can't go into Dagusto Emerald. So, no, I don't want to attack directly. I'll go ahead and kill the Prisma. So, he pretty much can't touch me, he can't summon from the extra deck, I uh, can't be targeted destroyed by card effects, this is what you guys wanted, you know? So, that's totally fine. Oh, did I get an attack? Look at that. Hello? Like, why did I get an attack? Oh, oh, oh. I forgot, this actually gives me attack. When it tributes every monster attacks, I get under attack. Ah, completely forgot about that. I thought it was just for Monarchs, see? It works, it works. Now, is this truly, no, Earthbound Immortal Monarchs? Not really. Uh, there's really only one Monarch-esque monster. The rest of it is just using Monarch Building Traps. I wish the I wish the person who put the deck was more specific with it, you know? So I, I, I really want, I mean, I really want to try to impress, uh, you know, produce good content, but I was worried that the deck was just going to be crap. And I was trying to, come, I guess I was just trying to put, you know, the, 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 the square block in the wrong hole, in the, in the round hole. And I was like, it's not, it's not working, guys, it's not working. And you guys are like, no, you, you, you're clearly doing it wrong. It's like, oh... Oh, I'm doing it wrong. You do it like this, and I got a ton of help. A ton of people play testing for me, suggesting cards for me, and you know we collectively worked on the deck for the last couple of days. So hopefully we can actually bring you guys content uh, over the next couple of uh, weeks or so, because that would be great. You know, uh, that would, I would just be really happy if I was able to do that for you guys. Because if not, then <laughs> we're into deep shit. So uh, we're playing reasoning so we can go to the deck and get that Earthbound Immortal. Because they can be special summon. They don't have to be tribute summon. They're generally tribute summon, but they don't have to be. So if I can go ahead and just go reasoning and then just go do 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 mill mill my fucking prime mill my fucking uh, pan BD and summon an Earthbound Immortal, awesome. Yeah, that's that's great. So I think once again I'm just gonna go ahead and kill the Prisma. It doesn't seem like. He has any spell cards to pitch. I don't want him to keep dropping Dark Magician, like, at all. I'm gonna go ahead and set this Twin Twister definitely, like, most definitely set the Twin Twister. And, uh, I'll, I'll be glad to push the reasoning, you know, I'll be, or the, the Monarch Stone Forth, so. So, it definitely looks like he's going to get himself a Dark Magician, and it's either or, right? I think I might just go ahead and pop it now. I can literally just go ahead and pop the Eternal Soul now before it resolves on the field. So, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. I'm not sure if I want to hold on to this or this. They're both really good cards right now, but I guess I'll get rid of the Monster on 4th because Reason can actually get me another Earthbound monster. 
And we'll just go ahead and get rid of both of them. I mean, it really doesn't matter. They're both gone. You know, and the field resolved. Eternal Soul is going to go off. Like your uh, Sun Monk, too. So he's dead, too. And then just attack you to Oh, never mind. You're going to go ahead and summon the magician of Dark Black Illusion attack mode, which doesn't matter because he's still white because Eternal Shun Resolve back with Eternal Soul get wrecked. And now Earth Brother Mortal. Uh, so Fiskew, attack you directly. And you still can't summon Threat Trick, and you still can't touch me. So awesome. Awesome. So, actually, let me go, go ahead and get to talking what I'm about, because um, you're looking at the title, and you're like, Daniel, get to the point, because you're not getting to the point. Sorry, I didn't introduce the Earthbound deck. So, first duel, I mean, that's a success right there. That's a success. Let's go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Uh, sometimes I don't know whether I want to go first or second in this deck. If I go first, then I don't have to worry about back row, but then if I go second, then, uh, then I, you know, Earthbound. So, this hand's not great. I don't have a Phil Spell, I don't have March. If I had Mar Earthbound, Phil Spell or March, that'd be great, but... Neither or, you know, yeah, running Vassal, a Thunder Vassal, because I totally don't mind, especially summoning him, giving you a token, Monarch Stone Forth, your token, my shit, bam, you know, I totally don't mind doing that, and I just shoot, shoot tributes, it's fine, uh, it's just, I need a field spell, you know, we run triple field spell, triple terraforming, uh, we can go ahead and, you know, there's a, there's a nice handful of cards we can go ahead and get, but I did not open up well at all, and he made me go first, so, not the greatest, anyway, probably looking title and you're like, really, like, yeah, and card, tr card troubles again, uh, again, uh, if you're wondering whatever happened to my, uh, of course I told you guys what happened to my Monte Carlo. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. I scrapped it off pretty much. I, well, the equivalent of scrapping it off. I sold it off for literally a hundred bucks. And that was the end of it. Yeah. It wasn't worth the effort to repair anymore, so we're done. Uh, so Melvin got his tax return. With his tax return, uh, he proceeded to go ahead and, uh, get himself a new car. And with getting himself a new car, he gave me his previous car. Which is totally fine. I mean, free car i mean free car right free cake free car oh, hell yeah uh so last wednesday i probably talked about this he actually signed over the title to me well i can do reasoning that's all great and all but I, you know at this point it might just be best to do reason just to see if i can mill a couple spells and traps like if i can mill a, a pandemi or something i can actually get in this damn duel like please <laughs> like, holy shit like okay five i mean there's not a lot of five okay sure I, I just, I'm stuck with these, I'm, and I'm running, I'm running the terraformers, I'm running the field spell, I'm running the shit, and I'm just not getting my fucking shit, like, holy crap. So, yay, I get an additional summon, too bad I can't summon anything. It'd be nice if I was running some more monarchs, but we wanted to do more earthbounds, it's, it was kind of a tight fit, it really was, it really was, and that's not the situation I want to see. I only milled one monarch spell trap, so I can't even really use the prime to do that shit, like, I'm just asking for it. I'm just asking for my opponent to literally stick their dick in my ass because I can't do shit right now. Like, I'm actually surprised how slow they're taking this duel. Like, they should be all over me. I should probably be dead by now. Right now. Like, you need to start going the aggressive, Mr. Elstervin, I guess? Like, anyway, I uh, got the title signed over me. Uh, and not even a week. Not even a fucking week. I got the title signed over me on Wednesday. Not even a week, being Tuesday. I'm talking about the previous day. Uh, the car ends up messing up. It really does. Uh, it was working totally fine early. Wow. 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 You know? I just need a field spell. Like, literally, give me a fucking spill spell and I'm in this damn duel. Like, it's just that simple. Instead, I'm just gonna draw Vassal after Vassal. Like, Edos, 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 Eidos, Edos, Mithra. Oh, like, like, please. Please. Please, for the love of fucking Christ. Anything. Anything to get me a damn field spell. Like, what do I need to do? Like, I don't even care. I'd rather you hit my prime than hit my fucking field spell. That's fine. You're not doing anything anyway besides any monsters. Now, if you want to tribute all three of those for a goddamn Egyptian god card, more power to you. But please, just just and put me out of my misery. Because <laughs> I can't do shit right now. <laughs> Where is my field spell? I, uh, and we were discussing, like, how many field, how many, you know, field spells do you run? Of course, three. I mean, terraforming's like... You know, with this deck three, because I definitely need it. You know, I, I can, I can't blend tenacity. Like clearly, if I had, if I drew tenacity right now, what would I reveal? I have nothing that has the stats for tenacity. So I was like, screw it, no tenacity, terraforming. Give me my fucking my domain. I'm gonna drop a, a vast, uh, earthbound immortal. Nine times out of ten, how do you get rid of uh, the filth spell? You're probably gonna cast Stella away or something along those lines. Like wow, like this man actually has to get aggressive with Gustos because I'm not doing shit. Like, that's pretty sad, right? It would be great if I could do it. I mean, Gustos, locking Gustos out of the extra deck? Like, sure, but, you know, so. I can go ahead and do Prime and do that play, but there's no point in doing that. <laughs> Someone is honking their ass off outside. I mean, it's not me. My car doesn't work. <laughs> this is working fine in the morning. 
it, uh, literally me and Rennie went out, went to 7-Eleven, uh, and on our way home, we just hear like this da -da 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 noise, and we're like, what the heck, like da -da 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 -da. so we're like, is that us, I mean, I don't know, so we turn, I turn, I'm at a stoplight, I turn the car off, it stops, so I'm like, oh crap, it's us, turn the car back on, drives like literally one light, and it's still going, da -da 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 -da. all of a sudden, you just hear like a pop, and then, car turns off, won't turn back on, it was just like, wow, like, Finally, a field spell. Like, I can actually fucking duel. Like, it's a fucking Christmas goddamn motherfucking miracle, Miss Bitch. So, I can go ahead and summon Mithra. Oh, well, yeah, summon Mithra to your side of the field. Or I could go ahead and banish my. Uh, what's your graveyard effect? Don't you, like, special summon one from a graveyard or something like that? Yeah. Like, you can't, I could just go ahead and do this. If it's a card in your graveyard, you can banish one other minor spell or trap. So, just summon it, then summon you, and then do all them plays. But finally, I fucking drew something. So hopefully, uh, shit stays, uh, he doesn't have another MST, I won't get locked out of the duel, and, uh, uh then we can actually start getting some Earthbound plays in, so, I'm gonna go ahead and Normal Summon Edos, who will of course give me an additional Normal Summon, which is great, hopefully. If not, I mean, I mean, I still have plays, like, I can still just go ahead and summon Mithra, like, if you stop this, I can summon Mithra. Like I said, he assumes that I'm running Monarchs, he really does, he really does, but no, I'm not running Monarchs. I am not, so I'm actually about to just drop this on you, and you're gonna be like, say, what? Like, bam! Earthbound Immortal, bitch! Like, ha ha! Did you see? That actually kind of made me sad. <laughs> I mean, I have another one, which is fine, so as long as my domain stays up, but. Aww. <laughs> I waited all this time! <laughs> No! <laughs> I can summon another one next turn, though. I, I can literally just special summon with this and give you a token, special summon. Uh, summon Edos. Get normal, additional normal summon. Bam. Tribute summon. Like, that's all I'm gonna find in any. Do you give back a search for my deck or something like that? You can banish this card and target one in your graveyard, okay? So, I just need an idea. And you know what the sad thing is? Idea will be able to summon shit. Well, I guess it could summon another myth. I think I'm thinking we're running three Mithra, three Eidos, and three Idea. Like, I definitely want to butt out them plates, but. You know, make more use out of Monarch Stone Force when I generally am going to do two summons, so how about I just summon, give you a token, Monarch Stone Force, tribute your token, bam, there's our expand on our Yeah, that's a gist, like I said, a lot of playtesting has gone through this deck, and you guys wanted it, you guys wanted it, it is literally like the freaking, uh, the, the, um, the Plant Princesses of this month. Uh, I thought maybe it was gonna get beat out by Phantom Knights, but nope, nope, nope. You guys voted, and you guys, I guess you guys, were, your curiosity was piqued. You're like, Earthbound Immortal March, that sounds interesting. I think I'll vote for that. And now it's just like, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, I'm just asking for it. So, I guess you wanna go ahead and sync it up, sync 8. It uh, doesn't look like I'm, oh, sync 4. Alright, so. Sync or summon, all Gust and Monsters getting sync again. That's it? Alright, I guess. I don't even know, one, I didn't even know this guy existed, and two, like, that's it, like, I mean, I'm 1,400, that goes up to 2,000, like, ooh, but whatever, whatever, I didn't even know this guy, uh, that guy, that monster existed, so, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe he'll, he's gonna try to wrap this up, wrap this duel up, hit me with that solemn warning, I'm sitting here trying to draw on the shit, hit me with that solemn warning, I'm like, man, I would've locked my extra deck, and had that shit, and fucking been going to town, like, I would've been golden. Ah, that broken ass emergency teleport. You can never go wrong with emergency teleport, people. I mean, yeah, this card totally deserves to be at three. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. It should be limited. Like, goodness sakes, not even once per turn, and you're summoning psychic monsters from death. Like I said, it fades in and out of relevancy. Like I said, burning abyss weren't anything. Would we have to hit tour guide down to one? No, but because they are relevant, do we hit tour guide down to one? Yes, same boat. Emergency teleport. Were psychics really relevant before? No. Are they relevant right now? Hell yeah. Like, holy shit. Like, they're played in a night, like, a major, uh, like, at least, what? At least three out of the top five decks in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now? Like, that, that, that's saying something. That's saying something. That's saying something. I still think that's game. Oh, it's you. It's you. I don't like you. <laughs> I really don't like you. So, it's 6,300. Oh, 6,300. 7,300. So, I guess he gets an additional normal summon, or he didn't normal summon, so yeah, that's game. That is game. You know, no, I don't need to check the field. I mean, I want to surrender. Thank you. Like, wow, I just didn't draw the field spell. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. I said, we might take the reasonings out. They may not be necessary, but I wanted to go ahead and try them. Like I said, we're going to tweak this deck, and I might keep the deck profile up on the channel, and then, of course, when the deck goes off, present a totally different deck profile and go over it after I've gotten some more uh, duels in with the deck. But for right now, 
Uh, there's some things that I like, some things I don't. But one thing, like not getting myself out, God, that sucks. All right, get another duel. Bear back. All right, so get another duel. And like I said, I think I like to go second. That's why I get some use out of my Earthbound Immortal. I get to attack directly. So it's not the greatest of hands. I I'll probably be doing some Monarch plays instead. Like you've seen the Rebrus, because he actually has synergy with the deck more than other uh, Bound Immortals being able to send to do that play. So spin back a card is not terrible, sending is good, so I can go ahead and reasoning, summon whatever. Hopefully it's uh it's her bound mortal. Uh, it's playing chicken game, which I guess is fine. So I guess I'll go ahead and activate and draw a card too. I mean, why the fuck not? I mean that's the that's the problem with leaving freaking chicken game on the field. Like never leave that shit on the field. So I can play a reasoning, summon something, whatever, you know, hopefully it's not earthbound mortal, but if it is whatever, then I can go ahead and special summon this, give him the token, summon this, get additional summon, summon the rebirth, spit in something back, send to uh you know, send prime, send uh pantheism and banish such with pantheism. Like we're okay for right now. We're actually okay. Level ten damn, he's just calling my earthbound immortal like a son of a bitch. Like he's like ten. Alright. Alright then. So uh, Edos a special summon, so I get an additional tribute summon this turn. And he's just gonna throw the vanity at me. Okay. Okay. I don't really want to do anything anyway, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll just kind of sit here and watch each other duel. I mean, we'll just watch each other. Sounds fun. I mean, that's vanities for you, right? Just sit here and do nothing. Maybe, I mean, maybe I'll have a possibility of getting rid of something on your field, but I don't think so. So... So we'll just go back and forth. I mean, I'm running Twin Twister, so that's nice. Uh, Panditi, I mean, that's, that's cool. Oh, wait, I can just destroy this card, and it'll get rid of the Vanities. Duh. Duh. Get rid of it. Bye, Vanities. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. <laughs> that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Alright, so, I guess, like I said, once again, I'll just go ahead and summon Edo, so it'll give me additional normal summon, and then summon a Rebirth. So Rebirth, spin that card back to his deck, sending... Uh, Prime and Pantheism, Banish Pantheism, get the search, and Prime will be in the graveyard too, like, oh, good. Okay. That's also kind of annoying. Probably should have just summoned Prime, and that would have been fine, so. Guess I'm not gonna do anything anymore. Might as well poke you for 16, like, oh my god. This man, he's like doing everything that's annoying, but nothing that's good. Like, oh, flip with Xandies on your Ada, it's like, I guess, like, Xandies doesn't really work against Monarchs. It's the reason, one of the reasons why it's not played in competitive scene right now, but whatever. And, uh, Birkin skill on my fucking Ada, when I went into that additional summon, like, fucking son of a bitch. Like, I'm not even sure if that was calculated, or you just literally threw it at me, like. And this entire time you've been playing DDDs? Like, oh my god. Like, really? Like, you've been taking it real slow for DDDs. Real goddamn slow. Alright. Well, it been great, but I guess he he probably knew I was going to lock him out of the extra deck, so he's like, fuck that shit. Like, alright. Just going to kill my monster? Sure. Sure, I can I can handle that with a... I can handle that with a reverse in my field spell, so... <sighs> Set some more back row. Set some more break skills and shit. I finally got rid of all your back rows, Twin Twisters. Oh, I mean, that, that, that also works. That really does. That also works, so... So go ahead and activate that OG Monarch. Get rid of that. You know, I know you don't have another vanity, so that's good. Let's go ahead and activate that. So, you can't touch my tribute to my monsters, which is great. Gonna go ahead and tribute these two for this. That's great. Activate my effect. That's great. Everything is just fine and dandy. I'm gonna go ahead and send me a Pan Deity, and I guess I can go ahead and send me. It really, it really doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. I already have a, a, a original monarch, so that's fine. Uh. I guess I could send a Monarch Stone forth, because I kind of want to keep them primes to recycle for later if I draw into it. So, no, I'm going to choose one on, on the field and shuffle it back into the deck. Because I can kill him. That's not a threat, so. Choose a card on the field and spin it back. So, go ahead and buy a card. Then go ahead and activate that Pan Deity. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, this. I'm going to show you this and this. So. Choose one. I'm gonna go ahead and get it. <laughs> Lock you out of the extra deck, because that's just how I do with monarchs. And then attack over your monster, because I can. Unless this is your trap card, in which case I'm gonna run right into you, which will suck, but I uh, should be okay. So you're just gonna shuffle some DD monsters back, like, okay. Like, I don't even, I don't really see this card being played in DDDs, let alone what you're doing right now, so. So, you said Earthbound Immortal Monarchs, I mean, 
there's some Earthbound Immortals, there's some Monarchs, I mean, let's go. <laughs> shit, shit, simple as that, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, so you're gonna shuffle this back, get those two. Like, I don't know, I rarely see people play that card, let alone that, so my play was not bad, it's just, you know, I'm just kind of wondering how you're gonna get out of this situation when you can't summon from the extra deck, I mean, it's really gonna suck, so. Next turn, I can go ahead and use Prime, banish that, summon this, tribute that, and then summon one of my Earthbound Immortals, so. We might even have a Reverse with an Earthbound Immortal, just like we won. Anyway, the car, the car literally just crapped out. Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. I kind of wanted to keep that for a little longer, but I guess not. Just, just throw the MST at me, like, alright. Seems like if you would have had it previously, you would have played it, so I'm assuming you top decked into it. So. Oh, no, no, he might have been holding on to it. So he is allowed to summon all he wants from the extra deck, and then this might be game. I mean, hey, I mean, that's what happens with the deck. You just get that domain fucking MST and just get ready to booty slapped. <laughs> you just get that booty slapped. Sometimes I don't want that to happen, but it happens sometimes, people. So. Yep. Yep. You gonna crash with me? Uh, see? So, that MST wrecked my domain. Summon that, that's gonna summon back that, like, I think that's game. I think that's game, so. That was, that was I mean, that was one of the susceptible things when it came to this deck, you know, MST, definitely, so. GG, I guess. GG, so, that's one and two. One and two. Alright, go ahead and get another duel and bear back. Alright, definitely last duel of the video, so. Hopefully I just don't get completely trolled and we actually pull something off. I did not open up well at all. Like, this is not what I need to open up with. Like, mm -mm. I needed to open up with a field spell or some way of access getting in my field spell like usual, but no. So, I don't know. Maybe we have to crank it up. Maybe we have to crank up the field spell. Get it. I mean, this three fail spells, three terraformings. Like, I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> I really don't. Like, if I could just bust out that, uh, that, uh, like I said, uh, Rebris can go ahead and send that Pantheism. And then I can go ahead and, uh, Grab me that uh, deliciousness of uh, the domain. That'd be great. Got the Earthbound Immortal. I'm getting the Earthbound Immortal, so I'm getting the plays. I mean, I can pull it. I can pull off the Earthbound Immortal right fucking now. It's just, I need my field spell. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do we have to run, like, the freaking Pathfinder or something like that? Tributed off gear field spell? Like, do we have to go to that fucking extreme? Is this Infinity.deck? Because it's looking like Infinity.deck, in which case, I don't want to face Infinity.deck. Like, it's looking like Infinity Dot deck. I mean, Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier. Like, just summon, summon Dry, and I'll be like, all right, sure, yeah, yeah, Infinity Dot deck. No, thank you. All right, let me go ahead and get one more duel. Be right back. Nah, I don't feel like playing one of the most skillish trash decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Like, Infinity Dot deck is so boring. It's all you do. It takes no skill. It's literally just make Infinity, make Infinity, make Infinity, and then I I, I make Infinity. He made me go first again, so I'm gonna take it slow. Uh. Does it say accept the turn? This is Carver Center Graveyard. I don't have any more spells and traps. I didn't open it fantastically. I got Nithra, so I can summon this to summon token on his side of the field. So if I get that, like Idea or Eidos, then we got it. You know, we got the field spell, we got the Silipisku. We got the play. It's just, am I going to get it off? That is the question. Um, no, probably not. I doubt it. I doubt it. You know? I got the Twin Zustri, so clean up his back row and go to town. I mean, I totally don't mind doing that, so. I totally don't mind just Twin Twister and pitching the Prime. It's just, you know, I don't have a Monarch Spell Trap in the Graveyard. If I did, then that'd be fantastic, because I could just banish, summon, summon Mithra, give you the token, summon, tribute both of them to summon, but... <sighs> oh, and it's Trap Tricks. Yay, I love Trap Tricks. Did you guys know I love Trap Tricks? Oh, wait, no, I don't. I hate Trap Hole cards, so... Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm just search that bottom. It's fucking... just disgusting. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's totally what I need is for you to just grab bottomless, and I don't, and there's not a merch in sight. If I had merch, then fuck it, I don't care, but I don't, so, yep. Uh, set some more back row, set some more back row, set some more back row, like, dude, you're not done, you're not done. Well, obviously one of these two is bottomless, like, that's, that's obvious as all fuck, so. No, at least I know what the Twin Twister are these two cards, and if this fucks me over, I mean, it fucks me over, right? Simple as that. <laughs> so, uh, I guess uh, let's try it. I guess let's try it. Oi. <laughs> Here are these two for me. I know one of them is bottomless. Yep, there's bottomless. And Lightning Vortex. Motherfucker. 
Motherfucker. I need Vortex. Go. Oh. Okay. I need some idea, idea, some that you. Get an additional summon, activate that domain, everything is good. So for the car, uh, we had we're literally a block away, like not even a fucking 10 minute walk away from my house. The car just craps out. I have to push it, put it in neutral, and push it over into this uh this uh smog shop parking area. I have to call the tow truck, you know, mechanic has to come and look at it. It's just it's just terrible people. It is just just god awful. So yep. I was just regular trap hole, so I got fucked up by regular trap hole. Like, I still kill you, but you know, I, I pretty much lost everything. Regular trap hole, people. I got fucked up by regular trap hole, people. But hey, I mean, that's what you guys wanted on fucking daily duels, Earthbound, so get fucked. Like I said, if I had March, I got fucked over by any one of them. Like, this would've fucked me, this would've fucked me, and this would've fucked me, because I don't have March, so fuck me. <laughs> Like, wow. But regular trap hole? Like, come on, people. <laughs> it's so sad. Uh, so, I mean, I guess if I draw another Earthbound Immortal or something, then I'm good. Because I can go ahead and use this and summon this back from the graveyard. So that's great. Just, I need to either draw into a Rebus or Earthbound Immortal. I'm not doing shit. Like, it's just, it's really hard to find the ratio in here. It really is. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I got fucked over by regular trap hole. Fuck me. <laughs> ah, now I get the terraforming. Ah, ah, ah. That's totally what I needed. Guess I'll go ahead and play it in deck then, and then fucking just shoot myself because I got literally got nothing now. My God, it's, it's so it's so amazing how easily this deck just craps out, huh? <laughs> uh, maybe I should play like Hardened Arm Dragon, like pitch special, then tribute it off, and then I can't be sure about card text, including their uh, their own effects. Like maybe, maybe baby, like. Getting dick fucked by trap hole. Like, let's go. So, mechanic. Still need to come over and look at the car. I have no idea who it is. Uh, Renny thinks it's the belt. Oh, someone's at my door. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Yep. Alright, sorry for cutting out there. Uh, I mean, the duel wasn't going that well anyway, but speak of the devil, that was my mechanic. Uh, yeah. So, we figured out what was wrong and everything along those lines. Uh, pretty much it is. Uh, the timing belt, uh, the, the head gas needs to be replaced, spark plugs, all that great shit. So, uh, it's gonna be like four dollars in like, I mean four dollars, four hundred dollars in repair costs, not including, oh, just labor, not including all the parts and pieces, so yeah. I just got the car, haven't had it in my possession, like, in my name, in my title, for, you know, not even a month now, and I'm already getting flucked over, so that, that's great, that's great. <laughs> So we can just go ahead and play. We actually got the the, the Earthbound Immortal right now, so it, that's pretty great. It's pretty great. It's pretty great, must say. So go ahead and play both Terraforming. It's gonna go ahead and get rid of one domain for the pan Pantheism. Go ahead and draw, do all that great skit. I'll go ahead. And, I'll probably use the Monarch Storm Fourth and tribute off one of his monsters. Oh, oh, well, never mind. I got an idea. I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> Literally, it's the same thing. So go ahead and Panditi. I'm gonna show you three. Uh, Three marches, pretty, uh, yeah, three part, three marches, pretty much. And I'm gonna be like, hey, select one, you're gonna give me a march, and that's gonna be great. <laughs> so, march, march, or march, which one do you want to give me, march? Oh, so, thank you, so considerate. <laughs> then I'll play domain, summon, uh, idea, do all them cute shenanigans, and then bam, there's fucking, uh, Earth Man Earthbound Immortal Uru with, uh, domain and, uh, my opponent quitting. So, <laughs> awesome. Alright, uh, one more duel, one more duel, bear back. I mean, like I said, there's a good chance that people are just gonna straight up quit. I mean, they think it's Monarchs, and I haven't even busted out Merkbound Moral. I mean, straight up, what you're looking right now, it looks like Monarchs, right? Like, everything I'm doing, that's Monarchs, but... Yeah, I'm not really liking the reasoning. <laughs> They're not doing anything for me! Like, no, nah, it's really not. Like, I, I'm summoning the, the Earthbound Immortals consistent enough without having to be cute with the reasoning. Well, I did use it in one duel. I didn't necessarily need to do it. Like, I don't even need to do it now. Straight up, I get a field spell, I'll just be like, alright. Summon items, I get an additional summon tribute, summon monarch stone for tribute your monster, bam, there's the Uru right there. So, I really don't need to do cutesy plays like this, but I guess I'll play it just to get maybe a pantheism in the graveyard, like, I don't know, I don't know. I, it was it was suggested, and I'm not really lucky in reasonings, you know, so. So there goes a nice chunk of my cards, which I don't need going, but hey. See, I mean, I, I could have done that myself, like, I, I really, I, I could have done with this, could have went with that, like, that was none of that I needed to do. None of it. So, we'll play another Reasoning. And you'll probably call 8, which is fine. Yeah. 
and I'll summon this, which is fucking. It's like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't have a field spell. I'm doing shit. So that we definitely need to know. We need to tweak. We don't need the rethink. That's not necessary. We need to get our field spell. Without the field spell, we're not doing anything with our final models or march. Like either or would be great, but I got neither. So that's that's just great, right? That's just great. No, no uh, monarch cards in the graveyard. Right? So I can't even use prime. Put them back and you know just start drawing in the card additional cards. Like none of that. You know, I, I can't do shit. I can summon the Earthbound Mortal and immediately die. You know, cool story, bro. But besides that, I don't got shit. Like, I already started to run into problems with the the deck. The second I'm running into problems with <laughs> life. <laughs> We're going against them, uh, Shiranui. You know, anybody loves that, do that first turn. Shiranui wipe the top three of my fucking shit. So, probably go ahead and summon the Sage. Make that, you know, one card sink eight power. You know, it's all great. It's all good in the neighborhood, but... I might as well just scoop it up, like, we're already running into problems, straight up, just already running into problems. I mean, like I said, if I get my fill spell, I got it. Like, get my fill spell, activate it, Monarch Storm 4th, Eidos, 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 one of them, two, and bam, there, there it is, right there. Shit, I might even do this. I put in the graveyard right now. Eidos, which will go ahead and summon me, you from the graveyard, which wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I'll go ahead and summon Eidos. He'll give me additional normal summon. Like I said, Re Rebus. Rebus put in that work. Rebus put in that work. That's fine. You want to tribute me? That's fine. Yeah, you're running multiple of him. Like that's not even necessary, man. That's not even necessary. That's fine. I'll hold that turn to tribute. Too bad I'm reasoning off that that uh, the twin twister. That'd been great. I could have got rid of both of these, and I would have had no trouble. Oh well. I mean, I'm still good. Like I'm still like that's the sad thing. I'm still okay. I can go ahead and use his effect, summon a mon I mean summon one of him, monster for tribute your shit, my shit, summon the reverse, spin something back, send him pantheism, like we're we're okay. We're okay. We're still okay. It's just, you know, we're about to get into the Manu Manuki Manuki Mizuki shenanigans and that's no good. <laughs> so Come back back, sink it to your sixth guy, use his effect. Summon him back again, because you can summon him back, right? Scarring graveyard, so it turns to the eternal and non turning zombie monster. And the graveyard banish it both. Banish both it and this card. If you do special, no, I guess not. That's like it. Or maybe it's, he's, he is going to do that. He's just going to bust out two, I guess. Yep, so that skull arching. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. Do you have any special effect? I don't even know what you do. I'll turn it into a turn, you can target one of your banished zombie type monsters. So when you go, if you do, change all monsters your opponent controls to attack lower than or equal to this card's defense position. This card is this card is banished, you can target one monster your opponent controls, it loses five okay. That's okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. That took a nice five thousand damage, but you know what? I'm not out of this duel. And that's, and that's, 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 that's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful, but I'm still not out of this duel. So we're gonna go ahead and use a rebris, go ahead and summon back Mithra. Go ahead and play that Monarch Storm fourth, so I'm going to be one of your monsters. So, get rid of your monsters, what does it say? Uh, face up all face up zombie monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. It doesn't bother me. So. You and you, summon you. Vassal, what do you do? Like, you like get an additional normal summon or something? Like, that's not necessary. Yeah, go ahead and activate you. See, I'm not out of this duel. I'm definitely out of this duel. We're going to go ahead and send a Pan Deity and that OG Monarch. Do I have one in the graveyard yet? Oh, I do. I do. I do. He popped me. I remember that. He did. He did. He, he, he fucked me up. He fucked me up good. I remember that. So, um, kind of want to get the OG Monarch, so I guess I'll go ahead and just send this, uh, return to the field. Turn that back to the deck for me, please. Just great. Then we'll go ahead and activate Pandeity. I will show you three of my field spells. One, two, and three. And God, it's tax return time. Like, if it wasn't tax return time, I'd just be fucked. But it's tax return time, it means I could totally uh, afford to uh, get the car repairs. And you know what? That's just, that's just great. That's just great. So if he ends up fucking this over, I mean, I don't know. He can't summon the extra deck, which is just great. And I can't be touched, so. I mean, the good Twin Twister will definitely F my day. Like, Twin Twister Insta Fusion for Norden, like, let's go. Then I would literally have to top deck into a Monarch card. You know, a Monarch S Monster. And there's a lot of them in here. There really is. Oh, that's not what I needed at all. <laughs> uh, 
so I can summon back Prime and then summon Udu, but I can't do it for right now, which is fine, which is fine. Like I said, we'll just go ahead and fuck up your monster. Is it be like Goblin Zombie or something? Oh, from the Mizuki. Hey, you can't go wrong with Mizuki. Ah, oh, all the Mizukis. Shena Mizuki shenanigans. And it looks like I might be actually in control of this duel all of a sudden. You know? Like, not bad, not bad. Sure, I'll go ahead and do this. Pitch that. Get a deity, pitch that. Draw two. Not what I needed, but alright. Get deity. Uh, what do I have left? Like, I don't even know what, I have, what the fuck I have left. I'll show you Pandeity, I'll show you Domain, and I'll show you Emperor. You go ahead and give me one. Actually, I already had an Emperor, I just drew into one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure if it's random or... I don't think it's random, I think he chooses. Yeah. Have your opponent out on the card, yeah. yeah. Your opponent chooses, which is totally fine, because, you know. I locked you out of the extra deck and you can't target me or destroy my card effects? Like, let's go. Like, this is, this is the life. This is Monarch. <laughs> this right here is the Monarch, uh... Might as well activate another one. I mean, just in case he gets rid of it. I mean, it's all good in the neighborhood. Now I can go ahead and uh, activate this. Target two of my, was it, Banish or my Graveyard? Never mind, he has Twin Twister, so... He's just gonna go ahead and pop my ass, like, alright. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and activate this then. Yeah, go ahead and uh, return these two. Draw a card. Like, fuck it, you had Twin Twister X. That's cool and all dandy and all, but you see, uh, I still have another one, but then you'll probably like flip this up in this institution, right? Flip this up in this institution, right? 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 It's diffusion summon, summon. At least you can summon from the extra deck now, so. That's great, it's just, uh, like, do you have anything? I guess you can use this guy. Don't you both and go ahead and go for a Synchro Summon monster? Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, this deck is so susceptible to Twin Twister. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mizuki, Summon you back, Tribute, do all them shenanigans. It's a one card. It's a one card fucking Synchro, so. Let's go. <laughs> you know? Let's fucking go. Yep. It's not busted at all, Sage. Summon Unizombie. Unizombie send another Mizuki. Mizuki's not once per turn, so. Can't attack me this turn though, and then depending on what he goes into, I can always just attack him over, attack him over him with the main. But he'll probably go into like bills or something, and then I'll just be like, "Fuck, yeah, no, 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 I'll be fine, I'll be fine," because I can go ahead and just summon my uh, prime back, then uh, tribute summon these two for Urdu, and then start attacking directly. So I'm good, I'm good. I'm maybe Omega, I'm assuming. No, Void Ogre. Ouch, that hurts. A little. A little, because March will protect them from being destroyed, but... You can't attack at least. Ah, see, that Twin Twister, I just get wrecked by Twin Twister, and then they proceed to be able to go off. Like, alright. Your opponent can't select this attack. This card is an attack target. Like, look at him, just going off right now. You got that Twin Twister in, and now I'm dead. Well, no, I'm not dead. Only zombie type monsters can attack, so only these two can attack. So I'm not dead, because I can always just summon back Prime. So, that's totally fine. I'll summon back Prime. Kill it? Sure. I'm still in deep shit, though, because I kind of need that monster, so I literally have to draw into one of my monsters that allows me to get the additional summon, or I'm fucked. Oh, that works. Oh, wait, no, 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 it doesn't. Because there's no way in fuck he's going to allow me to get that, get away with that. Uh, well, I guess we'll just see if I can bait him. Yeah, we'll just see if I can bait him. So, activate domain. Negate, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, go ahead and summon back the, uh, you have a graveyard effect? Once it's on drain, either place can discard in your game, you can discard one mark on trap and target one go down. I, I can't can't really see see. Target one monster in your graveyard with thousand five or more and then add it to your hand. Oh. Okay. That's cute, but not necessary. Alright, so. Uh 
Yeah, if I could distribute the shit. So I'll go ahead and do prime. Get rid of that. Summon you. Is that only the turn that you're summoned that you gain the attack of this card? Spell summon your own one to this final final. This card is just when it feels strong, I bow by card if I can physically go. You can target one of your banished zombie type monsters with zero defense. And your graveyard to summon it. Does he have any Mizukis left? I think he used up all his Mizukis, so I think I might actually be okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and summon you. Tribute. Just if this card in the field is destroyed by Battle of Card Packs, I'm just gonna tribute you off. Yes. Ah, ah, he top deck. Oh, wait, I can't be touched. That's fine, but I'm still fucked because I can't get over him. Like, oh my god, so I can attack over him, but I still gotta deal with Void Ogre, which is definitely not really possible right now. Like, ah, oh, fuck. This man literally top decked into Twin Twister, Solemn Notice. Like, he's used up every single one of his cards, so. I mean, I guess I can't be. I'm, I guess I'm in the same boat, but. Like, fucking shit. I should be okay, though. I should be okay. I can summon. A, Edos can summon something. Prime can summon something. So I should be okay. I should be okay. I should be able to bust out this item out, attack board, attack him directly for game. As long as he doesn't have some way, some way form of going off right now. He does! He fucking does! God damn it! Stop top decking! Oh my god, top deck sage? Like, oh my god. Like, wow. Wow, the top deck. Wow. Ah, this door! <laughs> I hate sage so much. He's literally a one card sick eight. Like, what the fuck? At least only zombie type monsters can attack this turn, so that's fine. I'm gonna use these fucking Yuna zombie effects and Mizuki, Mizuki do all them shenanigans. Like, one card synchro? Like, what the fuck were they thinking with Sage? Like, oh my god. What the fuck were they thinking? Wow, so you weren't able to, uh, do anything else besides that? Like, wow, that's kind of amazing. I thought you were still gonna go off. I mean, I don't think you used all three Mizukis. I've only seen. Nope, nope, that's all three. Huh, oh, I must have missed one earlier in the duel. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. I guess I'll go ahead and summon OG. Mo uh, summon Prime OG. Summon you. Go ahead and summon you. And then go ahead and normal summon for you. Who, of course, will not die, which is great. And then, uh, it's gonna be one. If there's no faith on the field, it's gonna be one monster. Try be one monster. Take control of it. I'm gonna be one phase of monster. If there's no phase of one phase of your opponent, your opponent can attack so this card can attack your opponent directly. Just period. I can attack opponent directly. So, so Earthbound Immortals coming through. GG. Ah, ah. Ugh. All right. This is a long daily duel. It really is, but I said some things I like, some things I don't. There's things we can work with. This we can work with this for the next month, and then by the end of the month, when it gets off, or if it gets another month, we will have something presentable. But for right now, for a test drive, it wasn't too bad. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me in the comment section below, and we'll, we'll keep it. Can you tweak it on the deck? But for one thing, we don't need the reasonings. We don't need the reasonings. It's not necessary. The 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 the, the, the can march. I mean, come on. Like it allows me some of my the power. It's just, uh, uh, Erebus, yes. Uh, all the bardic spells and traps, yeah, sure. You know, I could probably, probably drop Prime down to like two, probably, like I said, there's anything else, but uh, the idea of Prime is to send one and then get the other two to recycle, like that's pretty much the gist of it, so, yeah, the quicker I get it, the better. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode of Daily Duels, so, um, you know, if you haven't seen the deck profile of Raid Raptors, make sure you do, uh, see you guys tomorrow, uh, another deck profile and a new deck being on for tag, so look forward to that, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.